Hey there, I'm Sarah Milroy from the McMichael, and I'm speaking today because it's National Indigenous Peoples Day in Canada, and we want to honor a very special woman, uh, Faye Heavy Shield, who is an artist from Standoff, Alberta. I spoke to her earlier this week, and um, she is from the Kainai Blood people. Um, she lives in her community there, and she has many decades of extraordinary work that she's done. Uh, and we have one of her most extraordinary works, I believe, at McMichael. It's a sculptural installation from 1993 called Sisters. And we will be featuring the work uh, in an upcoming show in November, God willing, uh, called um, Early Days Collecting Indigenous Art at the McMichael. We are building a room around Faye's uh, incredible sculpture because it's just really one of the high points of our collection. So I phoned uh, Faye up because I was trying to talk her into doing a Zoom call with me, and she's not, she's not the Zooming type. Uh, she doesn't like the way artists making statements about their work kind of oversimplifies um, the kind of complexity of how a work of art can kind of go in multiple directions at the same time, and that the meaning of the work is sometimes in its contradictions or its or its complexity, and that you know visual images and visual forms can, can hold all that complexity, whereas language is a sort of a coarse equivalent. I'd have to um, agree with her on that. Um, this work in particular, you know, has been subject to all sorts of interpretation. I think that's because it suggests a lot of different things at the same time, which is, I think, part of why it's such a powerful work of art. First of all, I think you get a sense of a really powerful sense of female bonding of these, what you imagine to be six women uh, arranged in this circle, which is sort of a, a form that suggests, you know, inclusivity, connectedness, and so on. It's interesting to note that Faye is one of six sisters. She also has six brothers, so it must have been a very lively household. Um, but, you know, as Faye said, it's not I don't want it to just be about that, about me and my sisters. It's it's about more than that. I mean, I think also you get a very strong sense, you know, up against this vibe of inclusivity and connection, you get a sense of defensiveness, of something being protected. Um, the core is being protected. And there's a kind of a spikiness about it that kind of puts you on guard. And that's also a very powerful piece of it. The other thing that you'll notice about it is that the toes of the shoes are cloven in the front and that has been the subject of, of a fair bit of interpretation as well by scholars and critics and some have even suggested some relationship between female personal anatomy and the the notion of the cleft and so on um, i think faith indicated to me she found that pretty hilarious <laughs> she said no it's deer it's uh, i'm thinking about deer um, and I'm thinking about the really the elegance and the beauty and the grace of those animals. And you know, she went on to tell me about how you know subsistence from the natural world was very much a part of the way she grew up and um, her love of those animals and indeed her kind of interest in animism and the whole way in which traditional knowledge involves that strong relationship with the natural world but it's a it's a great honor to have this work and to be looking forward to showing it and I wanted to let you all know as well that Faye has a show on that was closed um, at the Southern Alberta Art Gallery because of COVID but which will reopen soon called Clan and I think this show is going to run through until September. That show again it picks up on some of the themes that are in um, Sisters. Uh, it's about her, her daughters, her granddaughters, and an activity of uh, planting flags in the soil that they do on a video. And then there's a, a sculptural and textile component to the show as well. And so, you know, these ideas of matrilineal relationships and, and, and how women come together uh, are really, you know, continue to be at the heart of her work. And I thought it was particularly uh, marvelous that that show is up right now, just as we're about to um, bring the sisters out again and uh, share it with all of you. So anyway, happy National Indigenous Peoples Day. Uh, we all hope you all have a great day. This weekend has the longest days of the year, so I think we're all reveling in the sunlight. And let's hope we can all be together at McMichael in November to see this beautiful work in the flesh. Thanks so much for being with us.